This video is about swapping 300 to 1 stock Schwintech slide motors and replacing them with 500 to 1 slide motors. This is an unofficial fix. It is not approved by Schwintech or a Grand Design. I want to emphasize a Grand Design will definitely not approve of this and most likely it's going to void my warranty. We have a Grand Design 226 RK fifth wheel that has a 9 foot slide and it came with 300 to 1 geared ratio motors. We upgraded the couch to a heavy uh, residential couch that it has electronic uh, adjustable legs and neck uh, so it's heavier. We also have a lot of stuff in our refrigerator so it's always full and the slide is extra heavy. Every time we moved the slide it would speed up, slow down, and make groaning noises like it was ready to quit. I was going to buy a spare motor for a just in case and then then I decided to swap out the motors from the 300 to 1 and instead put in 500 to 1 geared motors. So I've been using these 500 to 1 geared motors for three months and they work much smoother and much better than the stock motors did. The 500 to 1 gear ratio is 40% slower um, than the 300 to 1 and it has about 67% more torque. The current ex extracting it um, and extending it is about 6 amps which is very close to the stock current. Again I want to emphasize that Grand Design will not approve of this and I'm sure that it's going to void the warranty. However, for me, a slide that works is worth it. To start, open up the slide about 8 to 10 inches to give yourself some room. Um, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to grab a hold of that bulb seal, um, and you're going to take the bulb seal and you're just going to rip it back outward. There's a small piece of uh, tape or a seal uh, that's on there, um, and a little bit of grip, and just it'll just pop right out and reveal the motor. The next thing that you're going to want to do is to remove the trimmed, and there's just one screw that's holding it. You can see the arrow that I've got on the picture there. Um, taking that screw out, you can pull that piece of trim back quite a bit, and it will give you some access room. Next, go outside, pull back the bulb seal right over the rail, and you'll see the square-headed uh, screw that secures the motor. Pull that, mo that screw out, or unscrew that screw back inside. Carefully remove and then disconnect the wiring harness. You will now be able to pull the motor out. There's a slight space underneath the motor that you can put a flathead screwdriver into it and just slide that motor up and then slide it out. It's a little bit hard to get out right at the beginning, um, but once it's, once you get it out a little bit, the thing will slide right out and it'll just fall right into your hand. The Amazon 500 to 1 motors that I replaced this with are an exact match to the motors that came out. You can see the four points where the motor locks into place. The next step is going to be to reinstall the motor and drop the motor back into where it was. Where it lo locks the motor. Because the new motor was probably not in the same position as the old motor, it may take a little bit of maneuvering to be able to get it to drop into place. And when you do get it in place, it will just drop right in. In this video right here, you can see where I was. I had my wife turning it by using the switch while I was guiding it and telling her when to stop and be able to let it fall into stop. place. Um, this is actually the opposite side than the one I was showing in the other part of the video. Um, but you do the same on one side as you do on the other one. Um, here you can see it just drops down into place. Next, you just put everything back together. Be careful to when you reinstall the wiring harness, do that very carefully. And don't forget to put that screw in the on the outside that locks the motor in place. Our slide has never worked better. It's amazing just how smooth it just goes in and out. It doesn't make any groaning noises. It's it kind of it works like it's supposed to. Um, it feels like it's got more than enough power to slide it in and to slide it out. Whereas before, it always sounded like it was weak. It was getting ready to break and fall apart.